The SQC add-in to Pi Process Book shows us three pieces of information. Let's take a look. Uh, first of all, of course, there's the control chart itself. This is the control chart. Oops, if I double click on there, you're seeing what the y-axis is. Let me double click this in the middle to expand that. And what we're looking at is uh, we're looking at derived values that are calculated from, well, in this case, it's using the xy, or we're using a x bar chart. So these are calculations based on the sample size. If this were a chart of individuals, we'd see the individuals plotted there. And it's being plotted against the control limits. Now what we're seeing here in the reds, uh, these identifying uh, uh, marks here are showing me that this is outside the control limits. So these markers show me where we have any kind of violations. Now in addition, we have a histogram that shows us what the distribution of the data is. So typically, we would only want to do SQC trends on those things that were normally distributed. And then finally, we have a legend here that explains, uh, well, currently things like what the current standard deviation is, the value, uh, the capability index if it's a chart of individuals, and uh, things like the names of the tags involved and the descriptor. In the example you see here, the control limits are being set automatically. As data comes in, we're recalculating the control limits. Those control limits can be set. Uh, they can be specified to get their data from a pi tag, or we can set those to a constant. Also, you'll notice, uh, hopefully, your data that's portrayed in these bars in the frequency distribution would fall along the normal distribution curve that you're seeing there. Uh, typically, uh, process data that's not normally distributed doesn't lend itself well towards uh, SQC uh, control alarm charts. 